The Oregon Office of Adult Abuse Prevention and Investigations found a 10% increase in the number of investigations into the abuse and mistreatment of vulnerable people. One of the most common forms of abuse is financial exploitation. Royal Stanley is the vice president at Oregon Pacific Financial Advisors. He says technology has made things easier for criminals. With everything that's available online, all the different ways for uh, criminals to get a hold of the elderly's personal information, whether it's the data breaches with Target, whether it's rummaging through, through trash or attacking them directly. Stanley has noticed this problem locally. He says a number of clients call for a second opinion when they get a phone call asking for personal information. If it's someone trying to pressure you into giving out your information on a phone call that you received, just stop. You, you don't have to give out any information if someone calls you. Police have also seen this as a problem. Lieutenant Mike Boudreau says families and caretakers often take advantage of the elderly. Anywhere that there's going to be a higher uh, population of the elderly, you're going to see more of this, and we do have that here. And the only thing is trying to figure out who's, who's a victim and trying to determine those cases, because that's the tough part. Police have seen loved ones take advantage in a number of ways. They could get money, they could get cash, they could use the... Uh, the victim's debit card and then they'll know the PIN number, they could write checks to themselves, there's just all sorts of ways. Police say they educate financial institutions and senior services to prevent these incidents from happening. Covering your news, Megan Allison, News 10.